Let us now learn about a great concept with very simple example. We will do rotation about a point and that to a point which is not the origin but any point on the coordinate plane. Right? So that is the topic for this video. Rotation about a point. Rotate the following figure 90 degrees counterclockwise about the point 1, 2. So the figure is a triangle ABC given to us in quadrant 2. Point is point P which is at 1, 2. So 1 is your X position and 2 is the Y coordinate. So we get the point P. Now we need to rotate this figure triangle ABC counterclockwise 90 degrees, right? So as you understand counterclockwise is, let's say this is your coordinate plane then counterclockwise is like this, right? Like this. 90 degrees, so that is your 90 degrees. That is how you have to rotate, right? So whenever you do counterclockwise, what happens? The coordinates change, right? So main thing which you notice for counterclockwise is the change in X and Y coordinates. So if your X and Y coordinates are X and Y in the original diagram, then after the rotation, what do you do? You swap them, right? X becomes Y and Y becomes X. But value of Y changes to negative, right? So that is the rule. So this will change to Y and X with Y as negative. I mean, really, the X coordinate becomes negative, right? So if you have a figure here, and if you do counterclockwise, you see the X values are positive on this side and negative on the other side and therefore we make them negative. So basically we just swap x and y and change the y value to negative which becomes the x value. So that is what you do in words I can write like what you do is swap x y correct this is what you do swap x y and change sine of x. So when you swap after that change the sign of x. So that is another way of saying the same thing. So this is what you do when you do rotation about the origin. right? Now here we are rotating about a point which is not the origin. So we cannot apply this rule directly. That is tricky. right? So let us see how to apply the rule and do our work. So what we will do is we will make P as our origin, right? So we'll modify the plane itself. So think about a coordinate axis like this here. Let me draw this as the x-axis. Do you see that? So what I'm doing is I'm shifting my origin and I'm shifting it to the point around which we have to rotate counterclockwise. Do you see that? So this is a shift. Now I've made a new coordinate plane with P at the origin. Correct. Now let us see the whole triangle from this new perspective as P being the origin. Now if P the origin, then I can apply this rule. So that is the beauty. So let's see how to apply the rule now. If, if P is my origin, then what are the coordinates of point A? Coordinates of point A will be 1, 2. Since we are going left, minus 2, right? As far as Y value concerned, we are not moving up or down, so it is just zero, right? So the coordinate of point A from P is minus two zero. To rotate is counterclockwise 90 degrees, we have to swap, right? So once we swap, what do we get? We get A dash. So let me write down our modified points first here, right? So I'm writing A, B, and C, and I'm writing here my modified coordinate points and modified coordinate points are minus 2 and 0 for A. Now if I have to do 90 degrees counterclockwise what should I do? I need to swap it and make or change the sign of X. So once I swap that means I'm bringing 0 here minus 2 there correct? So what do I get? I get 0 with a negative sign. It's not a good practice to write negative, so I'm leaving that. And this minus 2 comes here. So that is my new coordinate. From 
P as center. Do you see that? So from P as center, let's go to a point 0, minus 2. So 0 means in x direction we are not moving, but in y, 1, 2. So we get a point here. Do you see that? And this point becomes A dash for us. Let me write A dash now. Similarly, let's do now point B. See how we are doing it. Let's do it again. To reach B from P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units left means minus 5. Do you see that? That's and 1, 2 units up. That means plus 2. So coordinates of B will be minus 5 and 2. This is with P as the origin. And now to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise, what should we do? Let us swap it, right? So we'll swap this and this and change the sign for x. That is the rule, correct? So once we do that, what do we get? We get 2 with a negative sign. I'm changing the sign and keep the sign same for this, which is minus 5. So that is the new point for b. So from p as the center, go to minus 2, minus 5. Minus 2 means 1, 2. Minus 5 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there you are. So that becomes your point B. Let me call it B dash. Correct? So we get two points. Now let's try for C. Now for C, let us say that the point C is from P as the origin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units to the left. So it is minus 5. Let me write minus 5 here. And 1, 2 units down. Minus 2. 2 units down. So the coordinates of point C are minus 5, minus 2. Now we want to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. What should I do? Swap and change the sign. Swap without changing the sign. And we get our new coordinates, which are, if I change the sign, I get plus 2 here plus 2 and here we'll keep minus 5 as such. So these are my new coordinates 2 minus 5 and remember these coordinates are all from P as origin right P as origin. So new plane do you see that new coordinate plane. So we'll go from P 2 comma minus 5. 2 means positive 2 1 2 units minus 5 down 5 one, two, three, four, and five. So we get our point C here. Do you see that? So these are our new points. And now we can join them to get the answer, right? So once we join, what do we get? We get a triangle here. This is A to B, B to C, and then from A to C. So this is how we can rotate a given figure around any point apart from origin, right? any point, it works. Go through it once again. So the idea is whenever you are rotating 90 degrees counterclockwise, you basically swap X and Y and change the sign of X. That is the rule. You do it when you're rotating about origin, right? This is only for origin. Now in our case, the point is not at the origin. It's somewhere else. So for that, what I did was I modified the origin itself. I changed my coordinate plane and shifted it to P as origin. And now we are looking at it from a new coordinate plane with P as origin. Then we can apply this rule. So from P, coordinates of A, B and C were found. And these are modified coordinates from P as the origin. And then we swapped X and Y values, changed the sign of X right and got our transformed points join them together to get the answer how was it i hope you enjoyed it and that is probably the simplest way you can rotate a figure 90 degrees counterclockwise about a point which is not really origin i hope you like it thank you